Okay, so here we have a question um, number 10 from P2 practice paper C, the last question on the paper. Um, it's about applications of differentiation. Rakti makes open topped cylindrical planters out of thin sheets of galvanized steel. She bends a rectangle of steel to make an open cylinder and welds the joint. She then welds the cylinder to the circumference of a circular base. So there's welding here, the joint, when she makes that sheet into a cylinder, and there's welding all the way around the base, okay, to make it stick to the base. So that keeps this cylinder together. The planter must have a capacity of 8,000 centimeters cubed. Of course, that means the volume, okay? So the volume of this thing must be 8,000 centimeters cubed okay now welding is time consuming so Rakti wants the total length of weld to be a minimum so when you see the word minimum in this kind of question straight away you're thinking about ah something to do with differentiation the applications of differentiation calculate the radius r and height h of a planter which requires the minimum total length of weld. Okay. Fully justify your answers, giving them to an appropriate degree of accuracy. And that's it. They haven't told us anything else, right? So this is a, a question normally where they would do, they would give you, show that the length of the weld equals some expression in terms of R or in terms of H, and then you would then um, you know, differentiate it and find the minimum and stuff. Here they didn't give you the expression, so but they've told us about the volume and they we need to know about the length of the weld. Okay, I'm gonna say let L be the length of the welding. The length of the weld. Okay. So my writing's a bit bad. So the length of the weld is gonna go down here. So the length of the weld, weld is going to go down here, which is H, plus across the circumference, basically. It's going to be welding along the circumference, so it sticks to the base. There's no welding here because it's open, open-topped. Okay, so it's just 2 pi R. H plus 2 pi R will, will tell you the length of the weld needed. And we want, want that to be a minimum. So we've got to have an expression of dl and either dh or, or dr. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think what's easy for me to do. So I'll say v is equal to the volume of this cylinder is pi r squared h. And we know that pi r squared h is equal to 8000. So what I could do possibly here is I could uh, I want to have just h or just r. I could either make R the subject of this, okay, or I could then replace the R here with something in H, but that's going to be complicated to so have square root in it. If I say R squared equals 8,000 over pi H, then R equals the square root of 8,000 over pi H. I'm going to have a, a differentiation here to do because I'll uh, with um, with a square root. So let me make H the subject. H is going to be 8,000 over pi r squared. So I can replace the h with 8,000 over pi r squared. So I can say the length of the weld is equal to 8,000 over pi r squared plus 2 pi r. Okay, so now let's use this space down here. Okay, that's what I need these two things. All right, so now I've got L is equal to, I'm going to rearrange this to make it easier to deal with when I've got to differentiate it. So I'm going to differentiate now soon. So that's 8,000 over pi times R to the power of minus 2 plus 2 pi R. Now, I need to find the minimum length of well. So I'm going to differentiate this with respect to R. So I'll say dL dr because here's L, it's like Y equals something X. This is the LDR, the rate of change of the length of the 
weld over the rate of change of the radius is equal to, and I'm going to now uh, differentiate this with respect to R. So minus 2 times 8,000 is minus 16,000. Um, that's over pi. And times R, I've got to take 1 to the power, it's going to be minus 3. R to the power minus 3. And if I differentiate this 2 pi R with respect to R, you end up with just 2 pi. R loses its power of 1, and it's going to become R to the power of 0, which R to the power of 0 is 1. So now, we want to find, we want the minimum L. So we want L to be a minimum. Okay. Okay, so we can say therefore dL dr has to equal zero. Okay, you find a minimum or a maximum when the gradient of the function is zero. So we can equate this to zero. So we can say 1,000 or 16,000 r to the power of minus 3 over pi, which I'll call, now I've differentiated it, I can put it back down there, it's easy. So 16,000 over r, pi r cubed plus 2 pi is equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to find the value of r from this. Okay, so I'll use the next page. So let me take this. I'm going to take it all at once. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, let me just do this. Okay, so we want to make find what R is. So I can rearrange this. I can say that 2 pi, oops, there's a pen gone. We can say that 2 pi, 2 pi is equal to 16,000 over pi r cubed. So I can cross multiply. r cubed is equal to 16,000 over 2 pi squared. So r will therefore be 16,000 um, divided by 2 times pi squared. Okay, I'll make sure to put this in a bracket in case. It's underneath both of those underneath. And that gives me 810.569. So I've got to find the cube root of that because this is r cubed. So the cube root of my answer it gives me 9.32, 9.32388, Now, um, an appropriate degree of accuracy for the radius would be, I guess, 3SF, 9.32, because this is meters, so that would be like the nearest centimeter, so I guess that's good. Okay, so that's what R is. Now, I want to prove that R is a minimum, okay? So we got um, dL dr as minus 16,000 over pi r to the power of minus 3 plus 2 pi. So what we're going to do is differentiate this. We're going to differentiate this with respect to r. So you're going to get d squared L over dr squared is going to equal, that's going to be 16 times, 3 times minus 16, that's 30 plus 80, 48, so it's positive 48,000, 48,000 over pi plus 0. Okay, so we can see that that's positive. Uh, sorry, r to the power of minus 4, what am I talking about? r to the power of minus 4. Okay, so that's going to give you 48,000 over pi r to the power of 4. Now if I substitute 9.32 in here, okay, when r equals 
9.32 d squared L over d r squared is going to be greater than zero, therefore it's a minimum. So I'm justifying that's a minimum. Is it possible it could be the maximum? Okay, so that's why you, you justify that's a minimum. And so we found a value of r. I've justified that that's a minimum for the um, cylinder. Now we've got to find the height of the cylinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our original equation. And I wrote down here the height is 8,000 over pi r squared. Because pi r squared is h equals 8,000. So the, the height is 8,000 over pi r squared. So we know that from the beginning of the question. So I can say that the height is 8,000 thousand over pi times r squared so now we can find what that is so it's eight thousand over let me just uh what was the exact value we don't really need to use that i'll, I'll give it a more accurate 9.3238 9.3238 so pi times 9.3238 squared and that's going to give you the height of the cylinder and we've finished the question. So we've got 8,000. So we've got this value. So I'm going to square this value and I'm going to multiply it by pi. Okay. And then I'm going to write it as it's reciprocal. Okay. Because it's underneath and I'm going to multiply it by 8,000. And I'm going to get 29.291 29.291 dot dot dot. So I can say that R is 9.32 uh, meters and H is 29.3 meters, three SF, which is three. So we have therefore finished this question. So what do we do here? I'm a bit tired this morning, so <clears throat> um, excuse me for that. So basically, um, we were told the volume. So I made, we know the equation for the uh, volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. It's a formula, so pi r squared h equals um, pi r squared h equals eight thousand. So that's one thing. Uh, we know the length of the weld is the height of the cylinder because you've got that line to join together plus the circumference only of the base. We don't need the circumference of the top because there'll be no welding there because it's open. So we got h, which is the height of the welding, plus two pi r. Okay, and. What I did is, I thought, okay, I can't have, this is like three variables, L, H, and R. So I replaced the H with 8,000 over pi R squared. Okay, I could have replaced the R with the square root of 8,000 over pi, okay, but that's pi H, sorry, but that's going to be more complicated because you'll have a square root to differentiate, makes things more complicated. So now I've got to combine, well, once I've got this, that's it. I've got an expression for L in terms of r so i can find the ldr which will tell me when i when i um, equate the ldr to zero i'm going to find either the maximum or the minimum so we want it to be a minimum so we make it equal to zero and we solve the equation which i did here so i solved the equation for r and it gave me 9.32 meters which is the correct answer from the mark scheme and I'm going to now justify that it is actually a minimum, that this value of R gives me a minimum. So I substituted, I found the second differential and I substitute the value of 9.3 in there. And well, I didn't have to do that because this is positive. And if I put 9.32 in there, it's going to be positive anyway. So this will always be a minimum. So it's always going to be positive. Therefore, it's going to be minimum. So we justify that it's a minimum. And then finally, we rearranged the formula that we had earlier for H. Uh, we actually just used that formula for H and we just substituted the value of R that we found in a more accurate form. And then we got the answer for what the height of the cylinder should be. So I rounded to two decimal places because that's the nearest centimeter, which is kind of sensible for the welding, I guess. So you got R equals 9.32 meters and the height of the cylinder is 29.3 meters. And there we have done that question and the whole paper.